What is going on everybody? Sofa here once again bringing you guys some Uncharted 3 gameplay. It is about freaking time. Holy crap, this game is amazing. If you have never played this game, I would highly recommend going out, stealing it, doing something to that nature, and getting it if you don't have any YouTube money, and then get it because it is an amazing game. I would say top five games I've ever played, and that's saying something because I've been playing games ever since the good old NES was around. Well, not ever since it was around, but I had one and I played it a lot, and I've played games up till then, so yeah. Um, single player, it is everything you probably expect from Uncharted. It's not the greatest story. It's like, alright, I'll give you Uncharted 3 in a nutshell. OMG, Drake is going to so-and-so to meet up with so-and-so. They have a meeting about how they need to go to so-and-so to get so and something. They go to so and somewhere, and oh no, the villains are there. They intercept them. Oh no, what are they going to do? Oh, they go and to find the bad guys and take their stuff and yay. There you go. So, Uncharted 3's story isn't the greatest. It's kind of like an Indiana Jones movie to be honest, but it's a really good story. It has a few twists to it, especially at the end of it. And I would it's a great single player. The co-op is for the same for the amount of it, it's the same thing with the co-op adventure where it's loosely based on the story mode, not exactly, but it does it, it adapts it so you can play with more people in it. And then there's arena mode, which every time I make this comparison, I always say horror mode. So <laughs> Uncharted 3's arena mode is just like horror mode <laughs> in Gears of War. I don't know why I always say that, but I can't say horde for some reason, so I just say horror mode. Um, and multiplayer, it's good, but I feel like they overcomplicated it a little too much. They put in, they, like, uh, I don't know if it's a full class system, but there's more perks, or what they call it, boosters for your guns now. There's um, power-ups you can get after killing so many people. They put in a sprint function, which I don't really agree with, but whatever. It's still a really fun, or at least it's still a really fun multiplayer the only reason I don't agree with it is because I feel this is more of an old school type-ish multiplayer because of how guns spawn on the map, how the maps are laid out, more linear. Like there's a, for instance, there's like good guy side and on the opposite side, bad guy side. You guys run into the middle and fight. There's a few flanks, but for the m most part, that's how it is. And that's how a lot of old school games were. There's regenerating health. There's, you get a lot of health. It's not like three bullet, boom, you're dead. It's, <laughs> half a clip boom you're dead <laughs> and it's really fun but it just for me I had more fun with the Uncharted 2 multiplayer that being said if you're gonna buy any multiplayer game don't buy it uh, five months after the game comes out because you're gonna go into lobbies where everybody's max level and they're gonna take a furious dump on your face because they're way too good at this game so have a little topic today that I kind of like to get you guys thoughts on and this is a really general topic but I feel like I have a certain different view on it than maybe uh, the majority of people would. And what I, what it is, is what a successful YouTube channel is. <clears throat> now, being successful, for what your view on a, blah, 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 what a successful YouTube channel is, I can't talk. It, it'll probably reflect how you are, what you think of success in life. Do you think it's having a lot of money and having a big a big gold crib with you know champagne and all that in your fridge and then that hummer sitting in the front like what no <laughs> or do you think just having a nice house and living comfortably and having people that matter around you is what being successful is um for me having a successful youtube channel i see it more as i would rather have i would rather have a thousand subscribers that all commented and gave me feedback and what they thought and have discussions with me than have 20,000 and only have <clears throat> only have a thousand people tell me what they think or not not all comment maybe get a thousand views and just a few comments or feedback and just a few likes that because for me I'd rather have a following that just has a general interest in me and 
Uh, one guy commented on one of the videos. I was going to bring this up on my old YouTube, the COD community one. And it's he said, I'm just going to shorten this up. Said, hey man, it's the first time watching one of your videos. Your video quality is great. Uh, you're speaking the truth. And I respect you for that. And you've got yourself another fan. Thanks for the video. I guess I have a channel besides Piratazes, who is amazing, to religi Blech, I cannot say that word, to religiously follow now. And that kind of stuff, that just, that makes my day. I saw that, I was at work actually when I saw that um, comment and I was checking it on my phone. And that just put me in a good mood. Just having people that generally, they don't even know who I am. They don't know my last name, they don't know anything about me really. Except they know what common interests we have. And it's it's awesome. I can't tell you how happy that made me. Making that person that happy for watching one of my videos. That's amazing. And to me, that's what a successful YouTube channel is about. Just having that group of people, whether it be 100, 1,000, or 500 gigabillion, which that is a legit number. <laughs> LOL. Um, <laughs> having however many people you want or have talk to you and just give you feedback and what they like and if they're entertained with your videos um, and on a side note I forget I think I saw this on painkiller already uh, what would you guys rather have a channel with basically no subscribers or a channel with 40,000 or however many let's say 50,000 subscribers but they're all haters they all dislike your videos they all talk shit about you what would you guys rather have? And that was a, for me, that was an easy question. And a lot of people, when Woody was uh, reading through the chat, a lot of people were like, man, fuck it, I'll take 40,000 haters. YouTube money don't care. <laughs> and even though I um, I don't really mind haters. If you don't like me, cool. I, had, I have a lot of people in real life. Not a lot of people, but there's a few people in my life that don't like me. I don't have a problem with it. And if, uh, if I'm being me, don't like me for who I am <laughs> sorry but um I think you gotta have a hard shell for 40,000 people to go and talk shit about you to where it's like yeah man I don't care making that money yeah 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 I don't <laughs> I I don't think I could do that I I wouldn't want to for one I would say no to that I'd rather just have 50 subscribers than that but um man 40,000 haters or 50,000 or whatever that would that's I don't know if I could do that. Um, but yeah, so that kind of made me think about this. Like, well, if you have 40,000 subscribers, does that make you a successful channel? And that's kind of like, well, if you make $200,000 a year, does that make you successful? You might have a drinking problem. You might be extremely lonely, but does that make you successful? <laughs> it kind of makes you think. So for anything in life, really, I find it more. And this is just for me. If you... If you get a thrill out of getting the most out of it and making money and being successful and everybody knowing your name, I'm not knocking you either. I I totally see why that would be appealing and why people would want to do that. But for me, I kind of I get the more comfort out of having just that smaller, more peace of mind, having people that, for the most part, share the same interests and that are interested in your videos. And so yeah, that's kind of my <laughs> view on the whole thing. Kind of sparked my interest. And uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed my video, God, I can't think. My voice is really dry. I'm not used to doing these 10 minute commentaries. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, get, leave me a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in the next video. A like would greatly be appreciated, and goodbye.